This is a VHS and CD update video for Sunday, November 3rd, 2019. Let's get started. The cartoons on this tape are Hold the Lion, Please, Buckaroo Bugs, Racketeer Rabbit, and Super Rabbit. So, yep. This tape does have two print dates on it. Uh, the first print date is right here, and it's... Unfortunately, it's kind of smeared, but... Uh, it looks like... Looks like it might be either... J June 26th or August 26th, 1987. And then the other print date, which is underneath the end label. Hang on. Oh, give me a second here. The other print date is September 3rd, 1987. Yep. So... The print dates are either August or June 26, 1987, and September 3rd, 1987. So yeah, so I'd be willing to bet this one probably has a black screen death at the end of it. I will, of course, have to check. It's got the uh, sponsored by Collation for Quality Children's Media Kids First logo right there. This is a recycled tape. The 43rd week of 1999 and the 36th week of 2000.
This is from this is from a company called H Butrum Enterprises in Nash which is in Nashville, Tennessee. And it's also by a company called GPI Incorporated. Yeah. This one looked interesting, so I thought I'd pick it up. Although the sticker label actually says it's from 1990 for some reason. The last the last clamshell I got. This this film is from 1953, and this is a 1986 Cartes Bio Communications tape. And the film itself is actually a Paramount Pictures film because it says copyright 1953 and 1986 Paramount Pictures Corporation. So yeah, it comes with. A business reply card from uh, Cartes Bio Communications. This one's recorded on a scotch tape. Alright. Now into some slip case. Now into the slip covers. Top has no writing on it. This one looked interesting, so I figured I'd pick it up. This is uh, this is a 1988 release by Polygram Music Video. Yep. Yeah. This. Yep. This is a Polygram Music Video release. I think this might have been one of the very first Polygram video tapes ever produced. <laughs> No print date on it. This is another one from the... This is another tape from the Literary Masterpieces Collection put out by Live Home Video. This is a live home video tape co-produced by ITC. Oh, sorry about that. Didn't mean to smack the camera there. Uh, the film, the film itself is a 1974 film by ATV Network Limited, and this is a 1993 live home video of each us. <laughs> Got number 
number 47 printed there, and this is actually a reprint. Printed in the 19th week of 1996. So, th so this is a late later reprint. This is the Sterling Entertainment version of of uh, War of the Worlds. Yep, this is a 2005 Sterling Entertainment Group VHS. Yep, this is now my second Sterling Entertainment Group VHS that I have that's from 2005. The other one being uh, John Steinbeck's The Pearl. See so, yep. and the and this film is exactly three hours long, 180 minutes. And this one and this one is in this one is in EP mode. No print date, and I'd be will I'd be willing to bet this tape probably has the static roll at the end. <laughs> Ugh, excuse me. All right, now into some now into a few more Christmas tapes that I got. This, yep, another got another Golem Book videotape for for my uh, collection. Got some printings right here. So yep, and there's no leaking your code or barcode sticker or anything on the top of it. And I did check the uh, closing of this one, and oddly enough, unlike most Golden Book, only unlike most Golden Book videotapes, there is actually nothing at the end of this one. After, there's there's actually there's actually no white screen of death or moaning sound at the end of this tape. After the uh, closing credits and the copyright screens and the Golden McVie logo, it just has uh, some silent black screen followed followed by uh, static, and that and that's it. So yeah, it's kind of unusual for a Golden Book video tape. So yeah. This is an ink label copy of this tape. Some copies of this tape have a sticker label and some copies have an ink label. My copy is the ink label version. And... It's 
got these printings on the side, but there is no print data. So, yep. And this next one's another Christmas tape released by Sony Wonder. The case, yeah, unfortunately the case to this one is not in the best condition. As you can see, yeah, the, yeah, the case is not in the best condition, but better than nothing. Yep. And this one, this is a, this one, this one is done by uh, Golden Films. So, yep. And it's 25 minutes and this one is, this one is, at, this one is in extended play mode. See, so, yeah, I, I believe this is my first Sony Wonder Tape I have that's recorded in uh, EP mode as opposed to SP mode. It's got it's got these printings right here, but oddly enough, it doesn't. I do not see a print date anywhere on here. Yeah, there there does not appear to be a print date anywhere on this tape. At least I don't think. No, I don't think there's a print date on this one. Oddly enough. So yeah. This is from the, this is my first tape from the Warner Brothers Holiday Treasures collection. Yep, this is a Warner Brothers Cheesy Shield tape, and this one's from the children genre. has the has the recyclable logo right there so yep and it says look for these holiday treasures animated treats wherever videos are sold it advertises Bugs Bunny's Looney Christmas Tales The First Christmas the Life and Adventures of Santa Claus, The Little, the Little Drummer Boy Book 2, The Stingiest Man in Town, and Twas the Night Before Christmas. Which, I do actually have the Golden Book video prints of uh, Twas the Night Before Christmas and The First Christmas. And I hope to get all these other ones too at some point. And, uh, in case anyone's wondering, uh, the Life and Adventures of Santa Claus is the uh, that's is the original uh, Rankin Bass uh, version, which is not it's not to, not to be confused with the the 2000 Universal hand drawn animated film of the same name. Yeah. Yep. It's a 1970. This is a 1977 Rankin Bass short, and this is a 1990 Warner Home Video VHS. <laughs> Print date is, this is a later reprint, print date is October 17th, 1995. Yeah, it's got WHV right there, printer right there.
All right, gonna gonna speed this up a little bit because it because we're already 20 minutes in and we're only about a quarter of the way through this uh, this uh, haul video. So let's let's try to speed this up a bit. This is the 1998 Columbia Tricer Home Video print of, of Emmett Honor's Jug Band Christmas. I also have the 1983 Muppet Video release, but my copy, I believe, is a bootleg copy and doesn't and it doesn't have the the actual case. But this is the 1998 Columbia Tricer Home Video version. I know there's also a 1996 Jim Henson Video print as well, which I might try to get at some point. For some reason it says 1996 on the label. So yep. This is a later reprint from the print in the 43rd week of 1999. But I'm willing to bet this probably will still have the same opening as the 1998 VHS. It'll, yeah, it'll, it'll probably have the same previews as the 1998 print. This is another Warner Brothers Cheesy Shield tape, and this one's from the family classic genre. Print dates are December 1st and December 2nd, 1991. The WHV right there, print it again. This is the good. This is the Good Times Home Video version of uh, the Abbott and Costello Christmas Show. I also have both the United American Video version and the Video Treasures version as well. But this is the Good Times Home Video version. Superior quality videotape recorded in the LP mode. Nineteen eighty-eight VHS. Has the Good Times Movie Classics sticker label on it, and the and the title's not written on there, so I'm gonna have to write it on there. <clears throat> Excuse me. So yep, no print date, and it says, but it does say H30 Hong Kong on it, and it does have the recording tab, which I will now break off. All right, oh, hang on. I have to use the scissors for this one. Sometimes on these older uh, Good Times tapes, the recording tape can be a bit hard to break off. All right, and of course we all know what this has at the end, since it's a Good Times tape. This has two Red Skeleton Christmas specials starring Frey the Freeloader. It has Frey and the Yuletide Doll and the Cop and the Anthem. Yep. 60 minutes and it's in classic black and white. This is a 1999 Front Row Entertainment VHS. This one is an, this one is an EP mode. Has a crack right there, but this tape should still play fine. No print date, and I'd be willing to bet this one also probably has the 
a static roll of death at the end. This one's from Acorn Media. And this is the last Christmas tape I got, by the way. I almost forgot to mention that. Yep. <coughs> Excuse me. Night's Night 8 VHS. There is a piece in the reel on this tape, but I am going. I am going to. Uh, I am going to uh, try and fix this tape. Yeah, I have to. Uh, I'll have to uh, take take this tape apart so I can get the uh, the loose piece out of it. And again, it's got these printings, but there's no print date. And I think this, from, from the looks of it, I think this might actually be a Canadian copy. Yeah, this is actually the Canadian print by uh, v, VSC, Video Service Corporation. So that's, so that's kind of cool. All right, so continuing on. So that's it for the Christmas tapes. Now to some other tapes. Got a couple more music tapes. There's some of the songs that are on here. Nineteen eighty seven CBS Fox CBS Fox video music release. And it comes with this ad for the Barbara Streisand collection put out by CBS Fox Video Music. Which I do also have My Name is Barbara on VHS as well. So I hope to also get Color Me Barbara, a happening in Barbara Streisand, a happening in Central Park, and Barbara Streisand putting it together, the making of the Broadway album. Number twenty-four, and this is the this is also a later reprint. Put it in the 17th week of 1994. It has a good barcode on it. Yeah, I had to get this tape for my collection. Such a weird cover design for this tape. Yeah, this is a 1990 VHS by Capitol Records.
no print down this tape. <coughs> Excuse me. And this next one's a this next one's a for your Emmy consideration release of the Daily Show with John Stewart. Yep, it says for your Emmy consideration, and it's from Comedy Central. Yep. This is a this is a 2003 VHS. Excuse me, guys. This has two episodes. Has the episode "Stay of the Union," which originally aired January 29, two thousand three, and episode number seven zero ninety nine, which originally aired February thirteenth, two thousand three. So yeah. No print date. This is a Star Maker VHS distributed by Anchor Bay Entertainment. Yep, 40 minutes long. This one is an EP mode. Some cop there are some copies of this tape that are recorded in SP mode, but my copy is recorded in EP mode. And once again, no printy or anything. Another wonderful, yep, another wonderful World of Disney tape for my collection. And this one has the Bluegrass Special and Runaway on the Rogue River. Yep, has those two movies that I already mentioned. So yeah. This is the original SP mode print. Someone named someone named Ayers used to have this tape, but it's mine now. Print date print on May 4th, 1994. It's got Buena Vista Home Video uh, stamped right there in brown lettering. Oh, and. And it's also got that person's name written on the inside of the case. And it also has the original proof of purchase tab still. So yeah. So yep, there you go.
this comes away of <coughs> excuse me oh my gosh this has this con this contains two episodes of the adventures of superman tv series it has panic in the sky and the big freeze plus a bonus max flusher superman cartoon the magnetic telescope This is a Warmer's Cheesy Chill Tape, part of the family classic genre. Yep. 1988 VHS. And it's in black and white and color. So my assumption, I, my assumption is uh, the two episodes on this tape are in black and white, whereas the bonus cartoon is in color. That'd be, uh, yeah, that'd be my assumption, since pretty much all the Max Fletcher Superman cartoons were in color, even though the TV show was in black and white. <laughs> There is, I do see a print date in dark red text hiding underneath the uh, end label there. And it is January 22nd, 1990. And let me see if I can peel back the end label to reveal a, to reveal a second print date. Since I know there probably is a second, a second one. Come on now. Don't be a don't be a pain in the butt. Ooh, this one. Oh, all right. Just gotta peel it off. It's gonna be ooh. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I can kind of see it. Alright. The... <coughs> excuse me. Print dates are January 22nd and January 23rd, 1990. So yeah, this, so this is a 1990 reprint tape. So yeah. Films from 19. This is a 1978 film, and this is a 1989 Star Maker VHS. This one's also in EP mode. No print date, and it has the barcode sticker. Uh Hang on. Hang on a second. Yep. 
it does n it does not say what year this movie is from on the back here, but yeah, it doesn't yeah, it does not it unfortunately does not say the, what year this film is from on the back. So I'm going to uh, look up what year this movie is from, and I'll probably put it in the description. But this is a 1987 Archeo Pictures VHS. And it says, also available in this star series, Christopher Strong and the Little Minister. Which I might try to get both of those at some point. And this tape's kind of hard to get out of the case. First off... There we go. No print date. And it comes with this little insert for the Archeo Home Video Library. So yeah. And up next is another Katherine Hepburn movie that I got, and this is also from a an RKO collection tape. And this one's put out by Turner Home Entertainment. Nineteen thirty five film reunion nineteen sixty two and this is a nineteen eighty nine VHS. Once again, no print dates. This is a 1976 film. Yep. Films from 1976, and this is a 1991 MC Universal Home Video VHS. got those dark red prings underneath the end label, so obviously we all know what this will have at the end. 20th week of 1991. And up next are two Abbott Co two uh, Abbott and Costello movies for my that I got. Abbott and Costello Go to Mars. Nineteen fifty three film renewed in nineteen eighty two, and this is a nice high four MC Universal Home Video VHS. Forty fourth week of nights high four boring barcode. So probably nothing at the end of this one. I also got Evan Costello, Keep Em Flying. Nineteen forty one film renewed in nineteen sixty eight. And this is a Night Tight One MC Universal Home Video VHS. Mm. It's 
got the newer Universal logo outlining on the uh, sticker label, so obviously this is a reprint. It's got number 107 right there. And this is printed in the 27th week of 2000. Alright, and the next tape I got is still sealed, and this is a MGM Contemporary Classics tape. This film's from the, this film's from 1969, and it's from the drama genre. nineteen sixty nine film and this is a two thousand VHS. This is an MGM tape co produced by United Artists. Alright. We're gonna get this out of the shrink wrap. And it's already and there's a spot in the back that's like already opening, so we'll just uh we'll just tear into the rest of the pla we'll just tear the rest of the plastic. Oh, I also forgot to mention, MGM logo printed on the uh, shrink wrap. All right. All right. Print on April Fool's Day, two thousand, and yep, it's got the MG, it's got MGM print and gold lettering right here. If I camera can focus on that. There we go. So, yep. All right. This next one's an MGM 70th Anniversary Collection tape. In glorious black and white. Contains the original theatrical trailer. 1946 film. 1994 of each us. MGM tape co-produced by Turner Entertainment. August 31st, 1994. Alright, and up next is yet another uh, MG MGM Vintage Classics tape that I got from my collection. And this one's an MGM UA Vintage Classics tape. Oh. Yep. 
I do also have a uh, UK VHS of this film from uh, from 2000, and I did have an Inglorious Black and White VHS print of this film, but that version, will, but that copy will now be getting donated since I have since I now have the MGUA Vintage Classics print. And of course, I'll be I'll also be keeping my UK copy for collecting reasons. So yep. nineteen sixty four film and this is a nineteen ninety seven VHS MGM tape co produced by United Artists contains the original theatrical trailer and yep as per usual pause the video if you wanna read the facts from the vault So yeah, has a crack right there, but this tape should still play fine. And this is a later reprint. The print date is May twenty third, two thousand. And it's also got MGM printed in gold lettering, just like the poppy tape that I just showed you. Alright, and up next I got four more uh, Star Trek VHS tapes for my uh, collection, and all four of these are actually brand new factory sealed. First one up is episode four, which is Mud's Woman. Air date for this episode was October 13th, 1966. And this is a 1985 VHS. And this is made in Mexico, right there. Alright. So we're going to get this one out of the shrink wrap. Come on. Ah, it's stuck. There we go. It was stuck. It was stuck for a second there. And this one does not have a seal sticker on it. And it comes with uh, this. So, yep. This is a. Uh, this is. Obviously, this is a later reprint because it has the Paramount Gulf Western standard logo on the uh, tape label, as opposed to the Paramount Home Video logo. So yeah, this is you can tell by the sticker label this is a reprint. And print in the seventeenth week of nineteen eighty-eight. Yep, and. There does appear to be something underneath the uh, sticker label, so I think we I think we know what this one might probably have at the end. Oh, I almost forgot to put the insert back in there. All right. This one is episode 67, which is Plat Plato's Stepchildren.
air date for this episode was November 22nd, 1968. And this is a 1988 VHS. Alright. This, let's get this one out of the shrink wrap now. Alright, and for some reason the tape is backwards on this one. Oh, and it comes with the same insert that was inside the Muds Woman tape. Sixteenth week of 1988. Alright. Episode 71, Whom Gods Destroy. Air date for this episode was January 3rd, 1969. This is another, and this is also 1988 VHS. Alright. We're gonna get this one out of the shrink wrap now, and it's already kind of coming open, on, coming open on the side there. So, yeah, you know what? Let's just get the scissors out and just cut right through it. Ah, there we go. Again, it has the same thing in there. Sixteenth week of nineteen eighty-eight. So I believe. Yeah, see, see, we can year code as uh, as uh, Plato's uh, stepchildren. See, so, yep. And the last Star Trek tape I got is episode 72, The Mark of Gideon. Air date was January 17th, 1969. And 1988 VHS. Alright. Here comes this one out of the shrink wrap. Alright, and again it has the same insert that was in the other three tapes. Again, see if we can year code. 16th week of 1988. 
All right, so. <sighs> All right. And lastly, we got the last two tapes I got are both two tape sets. Uh, yeah, yes, this is the original Born Identity film. This is the original 1988 Born Identity film. Not to be confused with the 2003 film with Matt Damon. Even though this film does feature the Jason Bourne character, yeah, this is the this is the original TV version from 1988. Yeah, I I actually had no idea this version existed until I came across this tape yesterday. So yeah, the, the film is a 1988 film by uh, Warner Brothers Television. And this is a 1993 VHS. Cheesy Shield. And once again, it has the recycled logo right there. Here's part one and part two. Let's see. And both tapes have the exact same two print dates on them. June 18th and June 20th, 1993. So, yeah. And the last VHS I got is King of the Ro King of the Rocket Men. Twelve fantastic futuristic episodes. Yep, this is a Republic Pictures uh, serial. A madman plots to rule the world with diabolical super science. Yep, it says a Republic serial in twelve episodes. Oh. Yeah, this is one of the ones where the spines are kind of weird. This serial it was released in 1949, and this is a 1988 Republic Pictures VHS. Here's... Yeah, here's cassette one, and here's cassette two, which for some reason the labels on both tapes see 1987 on them. And... The sticker labels are both from the end. The end labels are actually from have the NTA Home Entertainment logo on them. See, so, yep, and these are these are both recorded on Maxell tapes. So yeah. Alright, so those are all the VHS tapes that I got. And now quickly I'll show you a few CDs that I got this uh, week. Hang on. Uh. Alright, so quickly I'll show off a few CDs that I got this week as well.
This one's still factory sealed. I will I will uh, open this up as soon as I'm done recording this update video. Same thing with the next one. And this last, this last CD is one that I actually got off of uh, eBay this past week. <laughs> yeah, it's a really cool looking... Uh disc right there. Alright. That's it for this update video, and I will see you guys in my next video. See you later, guys.